Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onan de Guzman, and our topic for today is solving perishable or business mathematics. So whenever we say perishable, these are the things, especially foodstuff, likely to decay or go bad quickly. Okay, for the formula that we will use here, so we have actually the selling price of perishable is equal to the quotient of total target sales all over production minus spoilage. By the way, production is the number of items that you need to produce or to buy, while it's the spoilage is the amount that you can no longer sell. Okay, wherein your total target sales can be computed as production times the initial selling price. So let's consider this problem number one. JM has a fruit stand that sells grapes. He ordered 25 kilograms of grapes of 105 per kilogram. JM expects that 30% of the grapes will spoil after three days and cannot be sold. He wants a 25% markup based on his costs. What should JM price his grapes so he can achieve this target markup? Alright, in order to solve our problem, let's identify first the given. So we have the cost is equal to 105, while the spoilage is equal to 30%, and the markup is equal to 25%. So take note that markup is based on your cost of 105 pesos, and your production is equal to 25 kilograms, and your selling price is unknown. By the way, selling price of perishables is unknown. So now, so for our step number one, take note that initial selling price is equal to production times 100% plus the rate of markup. Since, okay, your markup is based on cost, so that is why we'll, we will use this formula. Okay, so since our rate of markup is equal to 25%, so we have here 105 times 100% plus 25%, or this is 105 times 125%. So we have the initial selling price of 131.25. So note that, okay, from your initial cost of 105, you will sell this now at 131.25, provided that you can sell everything, meaning to say you can sell all 25 kilograms. Step number two is we will get the target sales. So again, so that is production times the selling price. So we assume that you can sell everything. So that is why you have 25 times 120, uh, 131.25. So you come up with 3,281.25. So take note that this should be your total target sales without spoilage. Meaning to say you can sell all 25 kilograms. For our step number three, so we will look for the spoilage is equal to production times spoilage rate. So we have here the production is equal to 25 kilograms and the spoilage rate is equal to 30%. So we have 7.5 kilograms. So meaning to say out of 25 kilograms, you can no longer sell 7.5 kilograms. Let's move on to our fourth step. Since now we know the total target sales is equal to 3,281.25 and the production is equal to 25 kilograms and the spoilage is equal to 7.5 kilograms. So to look for your selling price of perishable, this is equal to total target sales divided by uh, production minus spoilage. Since we know already the value of total target sales, production as well as spoilage, we simply substitute. So we have, okay, the selling price is equal to 187.50. So therefore, the price or the selling price of grace is 187.50 per kilogram. So note, note that from, okay, 105 as the cost, and then you have your initial cost at one, okay, 131.25 at the end to cover up your spoilage of 7.5 kilograms you need to sell this one now at 187.50 per kilogram let's move on to problem number two pay owns a company that manufactures batteries 
Based on the report of past productions, 8% of the batteries made are defective and cannot be sold. Best Productions team made 9,500 batteries. It costs 14 pesos to produce one battery. It pay once a 35% markup on selling price, which is also known as margin. What should be pay price each battery to make her target markup? Okay, so before we solve this one, let's identify first the given. So the given the cost is equal to 14 pesos. The spoilage rate is equal to 8%. While the margin is equal to 35%. By the way, if we say margin, it is actually marked off based on the selling price. Okay, and the production is equal to 9,500 and the selling price is unknown. So take note that, okay, so if it is a margin or markup on selling price, so the selling price is always 100%. And according to the problem, the markup, okay, based on the selling price is 35%. And according to this one, guys, the cost is equal to 14 pesos. Now, to get the rate of cost, okay, we have the rate of cost is equal to rate of the selling price minus the rate of markup. So it means that is 100% minus 35%. So therefore, the rate of cost is equal to 65%. Since we know already the rate of markup is equal to 35% and the rate of cost is equal to 65%, now to determine our initial selling price, so this is equal to cost divided by the rate of cost. Now the cost is equal to 14 divided by 65%, so we have now the initial selling price is equal to 21.54. So we tweak this one a little bit because according to the problem, okay, so we have, okay, the markup on selling price. So this is the way or this is the formula that we will use in order to determine the initial selling price. So let's continue with the problem. Since we now know the initial selling price is equal to 21.54, so let's move on to step number two. So that is total target sales is equal to production times the selling price. We know that the okay, production is equal to 9,500, while the selling price is, or initial selling price is equal to 21.54. So our total target sales is equal to 204,630 pesos. For our step number three, we want to find out our spoilage. So this is equal to production times spoilage rate. So the production is equal to 9,500 while our spoilage rate is equal to 8%. So the spoilage is equal to 760. Now, since we know already our total target sales is equal to 204,000, the production is equal to 9,500 while our initial selling price is equal to 21.54. So we can determine now the selling price of perishable, such that we will apply the formula of selling price of perishables is equal to to total target sales divided by production minus the spoilage. So we have 204,630 divided by 9,500 minus 760. So we come up with 23.41 pesos. So therefore, we can say that the selling price of each battery now is equal to 23.41 pesos. Again, to summarize our discussion for solving perishables, so selling price of perishables is equal to total target sales, okay, divided by production minus spoilage, such that, okay, total target sales or simply as target sales is equal to production times initial selling price. So that ends our discussion on perishables or solving perishables. Again, this is Teacher Oni de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.